Oh my gosh, oh Jesus. My As you guys can see, I'm already laughing because I have two amazing guests on the show this week. My name is Dean, YouTube Music Certified, and I don't want to waste your time. I have two amazing guests. And <coughs> like recording vertically is so important. And did you even know that you can do that right inside of Ecamm? Yes, right now you're looking at me vertically, right? And I'm using Ecamm. And the best way to explain you, this is to bring two amazing guests on the show this week. And they're going to break it down how you can use Ecamm to record vertical videos for your IG stories, uh, for your YouTube shorts. They're going to break it down and show you how you can uh, manipulate Ecamm and just make it fun, right? Because don't just use your cell phone if you don't have to. It's good when you, when you can if you're using your cell phone to upload. But if you're already on your computer and you want to use the desktop computer or your laptop to upload your footage, Ecamm is already on your Mac computer, so all you got to do is just go to the vertical setting. And my guests this week are Fulgent and Anna that have been watching for a while. They use Ecamm to build out all of their overlays, and they kind of show off when they do it. Thank you guys for coming on the show. Thank you for inviting us. <laughs> so you guys are really experts. The very first time I seriously like start paying attention to using Ecamm to build out overlays is because of you guys and building blocks. And that's just the truth. I'm not just saying that because you are here. But look, this is amazing. And not knowing that, even though I use the virtual camera in Ecamm when I do my Zoom meetings and whatnot, not thinking that I can do the same thing to use the virtual camera to come in as a guest on Ecamm. I just wasn't thinking about it that way. And you guys are my guest today, and you have this beautiful graphic. So talk to us. Talk to us about the importance of using Ecamm and to use it vertically and how we can um, spice up our you know, videos and, and IG stories. Just take it away. Yes, so okay, so you guys, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Dean, again, my name is Anna Hill. And I'm Fulton Center. And we are the hosts of the show Building Blocks, where we teach you how to create these graphics that you're looking at right now inside of oh Ecom, whether it is vertical or horizontal. Right, okay? right. Well, inside of Ecamm, there's no additional apps required. You don't have to outsource to like something like Canva or Keynote. This is all used uh, using, this is all designed using text overlays directly inside of Ecamm. Mm. You can import logos if you want to, but the colors, the sizing, the, the text, the font, everything. Just like you said, Dean, before uh, off camera, we were talking about it, and you said, you know, you're not a designer and you outsource your designs, and we are not designers either, right? So we, our content is geared towards people who just started with Ecamm and who want to look professional in the live streams no matter you know so it's just like we grow or they grow with us we grow with them so we start from the bottom right like the beginning and then look at this graphic designs right you wouldn't think that this is a beginner thing to right. do right I would not yes mm -hmm. wow yeah mm -hmm. and that and that's what makes it interesting for me when I watch your your show uh, using text over overlay number one is, is text so that right. alone kind of threw me off threw me for a loop until i watched the entire video and my mind like was blown and that's just the truth and i was like wow how how did you guys just stay inside of ecamm because other people would start in ecamm and like fujins just said you know they then they go over to canva and they create different things and then come back into ecamm let me show you how to upload it but you stayed right inside of ecamm yeah. Yeah. to me that's genius bro <laughs> that's genius <laughs> i'm serious <laughs> so what you're seeing now this this is our this is our overlay that we brought into dean's production and dean yes. since he's the producer is able to bring his camera overlay on top because like uh, he's the, the producer so like if you're in someone's production like their camera will always have a uh, priority mm -hmm. right yeah yeah and, <laughs> that, I would not, yeah and that i would not have thought of because right now this of course can be a, a solo shot right um right. But you, exactly. you taught me something exactly. where if i'm the producer so i can create a camera and put it wherever i want to put it i can move this yes. put it on top 
all that kind of stuff. That to me is just amazing. Shout out to Instagram for even creating camera overlays. Since this is all text and you're not bringing in like videos and everything like that, this takes off a lot of stress off of your processing power. Yes. When you're running Ecamm, because oh. it's just all text and font that's native inside of Ecamm. Right. And, it, and it's the thing, like the way Doc was explaining it is that, you know, when, when you create text outside or whatever, you bring it in, it still adds up to it, to, you know, to the, the size of it. So instead of like kilobytes, it can start getting into gigabytes. Um, it starts getting bigger and bigger. But when you are creating it inside of Ecamm, just because it's text and it's, we're using the emoji keyboard which is everything in there, right? right. But it's still text. Right. Yeah. And also just think about this, like you look at the top where it says stories, IGTV, and shorts, right? Sure. So yeah. let's say we need to do, create that in, in, in Keynote and add an animation so to have it fly in. Then you have yeah. to bring that uh, video, it's like an MOV file, bring that into Ecamm and then loop it or something or have it animate and trigger it, right? Yeah. Versus just typing it out in Ecamm and then assigning fly in from the left mm -hmm. or wow. scrolling ticker. Yeah. Any animation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a powerful software. I can do everything right inside of Ecamm. And that will also make me begin to feel more comfortable creating things. Because I keep telling myself I'm not a graphic designer. So do you guys have anything working on as far as vertical videos? Anything we can look look for? Yeah, actually for we have we have gone uh, we have streamed live in the into the Ecamm Live community or ENN, the Ecamm Network News that we, uh, the show that we have every Mondays at seven o'clock in the yeah. Ecamm Live community. And we actually have gone there, was it twice? Or yeah, we, we went vertical during um, uh, beta mm -hmm. video every day in, in April. Uh, Cause a lot of people were focusing on, on YouTube shorts and mm -hmm. Instagram reels. So that inspired mm -hmm. us to start going live vertical and it, it, it inspired others to do, yeah. to do the same. Yeah, and we have some great overlays in there too. For sure. We created some great overlays. So, but but then now coming up, as I don't know if you are familiar with it or if you have heard, but Instagram now is changing the rules, right? They're changing their algorithm. They're, they're actually now uh, pushing more uh, content like uh, relatable content just like YouTube does so YouTube is uh, okay you watch this so we're going to show you this because you might be interested in it right yeah. right now on on our feed on Instagram we just see our our people or commercials right that's it but they don't push content out of the explore um, library they don't push content into our feed so supposedly the way I understand that is that now Instagram is going to do that right and they're pushing shorts they're pushing vertical content that's what they're pushing right now right yeah. so this is so fitting for for you that's why i was pushing you right we we're pushing you yes. to, to go vertical so yes. that i you know it's, it's it's going to be pushed more the way i understand it and then there's ecom has a lot of stuff coming up in the community about yeah. vertical videos as well where do you spend the most of your time watching your stream? It's not in front of your desktop, right? It's not on your iPad. It's right there on your phone. Mm -hmm. Right there on your phone, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah, because Fulgens just mentioned something which I've never done. Live stream vertical. Like, I want to try yes. that. Definitely. Would YouTube accept my vertical live stream video? Even though they take on, you know, shorts or whatnot. That, I don't know. I don't know that either. But I know Facebook would. Um, accept a vertical thing, I believe. For sure. That's if we true. want to go live feed, um, on using the talk format, I think yeah. on our phone, we'll be able to see it like that. Or we'll, we'll, that'll be cool. That'll be a cool I, thing. I have, have not seen that yet. So. Yeah. 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 We can uh, try. We can, we... We I would can love try to try it. Yeah, um, Dean, do you have, yeah. do you have restream, Dean? Yeah, but I would just do one platform. You can't well, allow you to stream to one wow. platform mm -hmm. at a time. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dean, why am I here? Why am I here, camera? Command Z. Every single thing I'm like. I put this back last oh, night. Yeah. Command Z puts it back? Yes. Press, press Command Z one more time. Man, what's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I think it needs to do one more because it's still a little mm -hmm. shrunk. All right, cool. All right, I got that. There's so much that you can do. There's so much you can design all the graphics. You just check out our building blocks, our building blocks channel on YouTube is Anna and Fulgence. And it's also building blocks and you will see all the stuff that we have created and things that you can do in terms of overlays, lower third, animate your text, make your, your, your live streams dynamic, make it really fun just using Ecamm. Ecamm Live and something, right? There's one more thing is like, 
Um, this is amazing. Guys, I hope you have learned something. G give them your channel one more time on YouTube. It is youtube.com slash Anna and Fulgen. And that is A-N-A, -A, right? And F-U-L-J-E-N-S. And I didn't know that I could use command Z to get back on a, uh, a camera overlay, so. Right. <laughs> that command Z will save you in those types of situations. Here you have it, guys. <laughs> Fulgens and Anna. Oh my gosh, they are a power couple. Anything you need to know about text overlay right inside of Ecamm, check them out check out their channel follow them on social media i mean just like me i've learned a ton and it's and it's so good to have them on the show today don't forget to like this video share this video to your community subscribe to our channels this is dean and peace